Is your instrument making you sick? Probably. This is what I'm doing now. When I get to school, I spray my instrument with a vinegar solution. It has vinegar and baking soda. So I'm just gonna spray it right down the lead pipe. And look, this has a huge stream. Okay, so I'm spraying, I don't know exactly how much, but I'm spraying quite a bit. And I use gravity to pull the vinegar into the valves. And I'm just gonna be moving like, like this to wash it. I think my vinegar solution is about one fourth vinegar and then I fill it up the rest with water and put a tablespoon of baking soda in there. Okay, after I do this, I'm gonna press them all, shake it. Let's see if it comes back. I'm gonna twist the horn. Hopefully, gravity is bringing it back and it should come out the lead pipe. Then, I will strain my mouthpiece with the vinegar. I do have some green spray. So, sometimes I just spray with this. Sometimes I spray it down the lead pipe too. The reason why I spray vinegar and baking soda into my horn is because of a conversation that I had with a washing machine repairman. And I asked him about baking soda and vinegar. I was like, is it safe to wash my clothes with it? Is it safe for the machine? And he said, yeah, it is safe because that's actually what they recommend to clean your machine, baking soda and vinegar. So I was like, hmm, I'm gonna use it on my horn and see what happens. This is my husband. I'm so blessed that we found each other. We've been married nine years. He's the one who really noticed the pattern of my upper respiratory problems. And it was always when I started playing my horn for the symphony season. So I started paying more attention to cleaning my horn and taking better care of it. And I did notice that in the last two years, I had less problems with my sinuses.